In this lab, we will look at exploiting poorly managed sessions or cookies to hijack a victim's session. We are going to be working with uh, the DVWA application and we'll just log in. <coughs> and we will just quickly go and set the security at low and go to access stored. Here we are going to uh, write or put our malicious payload which will uh, which is exploiting the XSS vulnerability in an application and we'll put a JavaScript payload which will redirect a victim who is visiting this page uh, and allow us to read his cookie. So we are just typing out a script using the new image source uh, function with JavaScript and quickly just look at our IP address. Now this Kali is the attacker's machine uh, with the IP address of 192.168.135.138.128 and we are going to push that 192.168.135.138 and we are going to just put up a PHP page just missed out the double quotes because we need to put the string into double quotes and you can see that we are not able to type anything further I am not able to type anything further now this could be because there could be a restriction on the number of characters which can be pushed in a message box. So this is a feedback form or a guest sign, sign book, uh, guest book for a user. We'll quickly go to the network element. Now as we hover over the code, the section which is related to the code gets highlighted. So if you want to go into the section which is of the message box, which is in the main body and it goes into the form method and the highlighted part in the body of the message the row we are looking at the row now we need to go to the message row and there we need to look at the message box which is over here and as you can see there is a text area with the max length of 50 so as we assumed that there is a restriction on the message length what we will do is we'll just manipulate this and we'll increase the message box length to 500 and we'll just click OK and we'll just exit this we've pushed it off and now we will be able to put our entire script so I've just created a fake PHP page where I want to write and we'll be using the document.cookie function to read the victim's cookie. Now the objective is that there is this XSS vulnerability in this particular application which is in this sign guest book which is basically you know you come across certain web applications which want a feedback or something like that. Now here there is an XSS vulnerability which is a stored uh, XSS, persistent XSS vulnerability. The attacker is exploiting that to redirect a user to a server which is under his control where he wants to read the victim's cookie. This is what the script is all about and we will just sign this guestbook. Now our malicious payload is stored on the server okay now what we need to do is when the victim logs in we should be able to read the cookie so we are going to go and use nc to quickly get into a listening mode using hyphen lvp and listen on port number 80 because this application is running on port number 80 we will stick to port number 80 you can specify any port number but then we have to make sure that that port number is also mentioned in our uh, payload that we have just created. 
Now this is the victim's machine. This is the victim. Okay, I'll just quickly bring the two together. Now this is the victim. The victim is visiting the DVWA website. So he will log in with his credentials. And when he logs in and he goes to that particular section where the feedback form or that's guest book is, let's see what happens. So he's logged in as admin. So he's an admin. Okay. And when he clicks on this particular page, there, voila. You see, as soon as the visitor visits that page, the malicious script gets executed at the client's uh, end and we are able to capture the cookie now as you can see this is the victim's cookie which has been captured by the attacker now what we are going to do we are quickly just going to exit this application out over here and we are going to log in we are going to uh, log in to this application again as an attacker now we are the attacker so we'll just wait for firefox to fire up and again we'll bring both of these screens together this is the victim who's still logged into the particular application and well firefox seems to be needing some firepower and we will go to the DVW application which is hosted on 135.129 and when we click on DVWA we will be prompted with a login page right now we will quickly go to Burpsuit and push on the interceptors on and we'll make sure that to capture the request we are also setting up our manual proxy click on manual proxy configuration say ok and we are good to go and here we will use some credentials now obviously we don't know what the credentials are so we are just going to log into this particular application as a as a uh, as a user because we don't know what the password is so I'm just pushing in some credentials Jonathan and trust and login and this is going to be captured in burp suit and there you have it now as you can see we have this is Jonathan's cookie uh, and Jonathan's cookie this is this is agent the host is 135.129 and his session ID as you can see out over here is 6EDC and ending with 18891 username is Jonathan password is trust so this particular uh, cookie has been assigned to Jonathan and obviously since Jonathan does not know the credentials so if he logs in he will be uh, thrown out with an error now what we're going to do as we have captured the victim's uh, session ID we are going to take the victim session ID and replace Jonathan's cookie with the one which we have taken from the victim see this is the victim's ID now percentage 20 is basically standing for a space and URL and code so we we'll just remove the percentage 20 and just push our space out over there and as you can see the victim's ID is B43BD alright and we need to go back to the earlier page so we can just knock out login.php because that was the page where we are we need to just go back one stage alright and here you see the victim is still logged in and we are going to forward this request with the victim session ID and we'll see what happens the request is forwarded and there you have logged in with the victim session so you have successfully hijacked the 
victim session by taking his session ID and replacing our session ID or Jonathan session ID with the victim's session and logged in as the victim and the victim is admin so we are also admin out over here and that has led to a very successful session hijack.